Well, hello, and here today on the Rusty Glove Box, what we're going to do today is we're going to work on our little septic system aerobic timer, and uh, I'm going to have a replacement for it. It's not only a timer, but also a uh, circuit breaker and control panel, and uh, it does several different functions. This is what my timer looks like, and I was able to find a new one on Amazon. It is a Tran... T2 and well this was a real good schematic that came with it and this shows incoming power so you have your red positive going into your 120 volt terminal then you have your green ground going to the little ground bus bar and then you have your neutral going over here to the end terminal marked on your main bar over here. All right, so that is the incoming power. Next, you have your pump. It will also to the ground power. bus bar. You'll take your neutral wire for your pump and put it on the PN, which is pump neutral. And then you have what on the schematic is the pump wire and it goes to PT. All right, my system has three floats and this is just the alarm. Like when I showed, uh, I'll show later how you flip the switch to test the system. When this float is hanging down, it is open. When the liquids get up high enough in your gray water into the tank, it'll be pointing up like that, and then it would sound off the alarm system, letting you know that something is wrong in the system and that you need to pay attention to it. All right, here are two pump switches or, or sensors. This one is mounted just above your... Uh, pressure pump that sprays for the uh, irrigation heads and it's um, maybe a foot or less of tied off above the pump head and when it is in the down position it will not let the pump operate but when it is in the up position when the fluids are raising in the tank, the gray water, it will uh, allow the pump to operate either by timer or by the uh, pump needing to empty. This is the override, the OR. And if for some reason like the timer is not working, uh, if lightning strikes, something, just normal wear and tear. If the timer is not working, this is the override. And when it is in the down position, everything's fine. But when it goes into the up position, then it is closed loop and it will turn the pump on. And then finally, the last three wires is uh, for the air pump. The white wire goes to the neutral position for the pump, and then the purple wire goes to the markings for the purple wire. Then the pump will operate. So in a nutshell, it's, it's a pretty simple wiring diagram, but it's a little intimidating when you first open that box. Well, this is what it looks like inside the box, and uh, you've got a clock timer and also in the system, you have three different floats. One is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a picture of this and I will uh, remove the old timer. Well, here I'm going to uh, drill the holes to receive the uh, electrical connections. You can see on the bottom of that one, I'm gonna have to chase down some of those little odd and end pieces fit them in there so I can figure out where all the holes go. 
Well, we were able to get the holes bored in the correct spot and I have them sealed. I have the control box mounted to the wall and everything works perfect. All of my switches I can do the uh, test, pump test, water pumps. I can do, it's right now it's on run, mute, or test. When the system goes into fault, you, <laughs> you'll see the red light and you'll hear that buzz. So uh, you know something's up. Rating. When you're operating this, this little gray switch, and you want it positioned in the center. Uh, that will have it run on the timer. I have mine set, I believe, at 1 in the morning to 4 in the morning that that system could pump if need be. And uh, it will work on the timer or the float system. So anyway. Now, this would have been helpful for me, so I'm going to pass it on to you. This little port right here, that is your pressure switch that goes down to your air pump. When your air pump is pumping pressure, it pressurizes that port and it closes that switch in there. And uh, that way it allows the system to work as intended. But I don't use this port. I have a standalone system on my pump. So to make this work and quit causing my alarm system to go off and everything, this switch, you just unscrew that nut, you drop the switch down, and it has three wires on it. You take the wire closest to you from this side and move it back one location, then put your switch back up, and then it will work uh, correctly for you. Hope that helps. So anyway guys, over a 10 year period, this timer just wore out. The timer quit and I was having a little bit of float problems and uh, the lid was busted up on the bottom and I was holding it together with refrigeration tape and everything. So it, it was just time to go. So I appreciate y'all coming by the shop today. This is Rusty Glove Box and I'm out of here.